member of the next generation who can't wait to see his name in light. <laughs> He might not say much. That's fine. That's fine. Devin rolled Dean Albrecht was his dancing due to talking for him. The Camp Cooper Elementary School student wants to be a choreographer and practices constantly. Almost every day, like three hours. And after dancing many days in the rain, he had his player in a plastic Walmart bag and had his self out there dancing in the ring because he had to practice. His parents created a studio in their home for him. Payton's also won several first place awards in various competitions, including placing in the top 40 dancers at the Tremaine competition in Orlando this summer. I'm supporting him 100% because I know I drove my mom crazy with dancing too. He's the one who was on a year and a half. There you are. There you are. And he's doing the same thing with me. <laughs> He's got great techniques for days. Um, better techniques than some of my teenagers. And um, I just, he has a passion for it with a lot of boys. You can't find that in those guys. Some guys just want to try it out and they don't stick with it, but he'll probably go pro. His dance teacher, April, says sometimes boys are made fun of because of their interest in dance and end up quitting because of it. But she says it doesn't seem to bother Peyton. His mom says he's even begun recruiting classmates to start dancing. She said that, um, I can't believe Peyton taught Aaron to dance, and um, I said he did, and she said, yeah, he came home, we learned one at recess, and he loved it, and he said, Mom, I want to dance now. There's a need for boys in the professional field. Like, there's so many girls that want to do it. Peyton's dream is to be a choreographer to the stars, especially to one Louisiana native who is plastered all over the wall. For Next Generation, I'm Joe Hazel. Next weekend, Peyton will compete for a dance scholarship through the Joe Tremaine competition here in New Orleans.